Okay, we're at Mum Napa Valley. We have just completed the Sabering. Well, not we. It's actually this fantastic man, Ludo Durvin. Ludo, welcome. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about Harvest this year, will you? Yes, like 2017 is uh, starting up uh, with a bang beside the uh, cork popping. I think we had the beautiful weather uh, today for our first pick of Pinot Noir from Green Island Vineyard. Uh, the fruit tastes fantastic, very good balance of acid, sweetness and flavors. Okay, and any and unexpected things? We had a landmark here last year with like unprecedented rains. And how did that change your, not only the growth and the farming uh, practices this year, but also what kind of, um, what kind of return you got on your investment of time in the vineyards? Well, it was actually a very nice year. Challenging, but nice. Uh, the heavy uh, winter rainfall was necessary because we uh, came out of uh, multiple years of drought. And this was probably uh, the highest uh, rainfall on record uh, for Napa Valley winter. And at that time, the vines are dormant, so it's a great time. Uh, fill the reservoirs, uh, get the very nice snowpack for, for spring. And then what followed is that the vines pushed in very wet uh, ground, very wet soils. So they established early on very healthy, strong canopy, which was a challenge because you want to balance the vine growth with the fruit zone because if the vine only wants to grow, it doesn't favor the grapes. So you have to play that uh, balancing act by shoot thinning and, and lowering the canopy growth. But if you cannot go to the vineyards because it was still too muddy, everybody had to fight uh, that ti that ti the, the, the timing to get into the vineyards. Uh, and the vineyard we picked today was actually very, very well farmed. The cane tucking, the uh, uh, opening of the fruit zone, everything was really nice. So the, uh, the fruit came in pristine conditions. Excellent. And so on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with this harvest? So far, it's only 17 tons, <laughs> 19 <laughs> tons actually. Uh, so I'm happy that it started, but uh, I can't wait to, uh, to get serious into it. And it will be about next week, we'll be really in the thick of it. Excellent. And uh, so what can people expect from the 2017 vintage? It's actually a very classic Napa Valley vintage. I think uh, the crop will be slightly above average. Uh, the quality, if the weather forecast is what it is right now for the next 10-12 uh, days, which is overcast morning, cool nights, and bright sunny afternoon in the mid 80s, that could be an outstanding quality. And once we wrap harvest, where are you headed on vacation? Oh, vacation. Uh, um, it will probably not be before the end of the year, but I will probably have a trip to Europe, uh, visiting family in France. Excellent. Uh, sometime in, uh, yeah, probably in November, December. Excellent. And the last question is, tell me what the brand Mum Napa means to you. Well, it's very simple because it is summarized in its name, Mum Napa. Mum is the French heritage. A winery was founded in the late 70s um, as a joint venture and uh, we emulate the same winemaking techniques that our mother company Champagne Mom is using in France. But of course we do it with Napa Valley grapes, which is the second part of our name. This is where the style and personality of the wines come from. Very fruit forward uh, quality with the nice toasty biscuity characters that comes from the yeast aging, uh, from the process inherited from, uh, from Champagne. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ludo. Thank you.